It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, really? What? Bigby's here. Oh, why are you never glamoured, Toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, alright? And anyway, so I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic! So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sited statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> This is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. You know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much, so forgive me if I don't expect anything different now. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Toad? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? I know who you're talking about. Um, Og Frey? The Crooked Man, right? This is his place. Those are his loans. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off! Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Look, I'll... I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. Look, I'm sorry, all right? What else do you want from me? He really grows on you. Look, I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? That and Beauty's loan she took out. She told you about that. Yep. And now you're gonna tell me about it. Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning, anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The crooked man gives, and he wants things in return. And when you don't pay up, bad stuff happens. Why do you think I've never taken one? A little credit card fraud never hurt anybody. I should know. Bad stuff? You mean he kills them? Or worse. Simple Simon tried to open up a bakery? Took out a loan to help with the expense, but when he started getting laid on the payments, the crooked man put him into one of the pies and served it to a litter of alley cats. At least, that's what I heard. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run it on hours. And really, 
he'd be the one to talk to, so can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so uh... I still think you're hiding something, Jack. Maybe the axe is back here. It's not. It was bad enough in the woodsman's hands. And if it's not here, I need to track down that psycho who had it last. It's not here. You better hope not. Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Just my luck. Reminds me of Briar Rose. You're not touching anything, are you? Oh, okay then. Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay? Headless horseman. Isn't this Cranes? Maybe. I don't know. This is Prince Lawrence's dagger. Did he sell this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so, uh... Why would Lawrence do something like that? Because he's poor. That's why. You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? Yeah? If you had my job, you wouldn't get out of bed. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh... Jack? Uh, yeah? When was the woodsman here? Was who here? The woodsman. Because the axe was here, but it's gone. Did he pawn it? He usually doesn't let that thing out of his sight. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh, and even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Last chance. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just- Jersey, don't- don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna- That's my fucking system. But you- you're the guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grant said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. It's Jersey, right? Jersey Devil? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Bigby? What is, is his you... axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? 
I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. You're dealing with me now, okay? And until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers, and Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. Tell me everything you know right now about the murders and the Crooked Man. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna rip your fucking lungs out. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? You talk big, but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? I'm just gonna handle it. Ah! You fucking mother! Oh, motherfucker! Oh. Ah. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. 
That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Oh, fucking shit. Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins, the fucking Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. And if I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me. So I can find some aspirin. Oh! oh. He ain't going anywhere. You better not be fucking with me. I'll come back here and finish the job. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did. But I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can roar, smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Out of smoke? Thanks. Shitty brand. You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah. You're damn right it is. All right. Go do it, then. Hey, Woody. Yeah? You gonna be all right? You know me.
Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Bigby Wolf? What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. I'm not. What you're looking for, I... I think you'd be better off looking at, uh... The Lucky Pond. Yeah, or someplace like that. You know where it is, right? It's around the corner and a few blocks down. I've been there. I didn't find what I was looking for. Had some words with Jersey, too. Words? Anyway, if, if I'd have known you already looked at the Lucky Pond, I... I, I wouldn't have pointed you there. I, I just figured anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. And I certainly don't mean to offend. Yeah? Well, Jersey had those dirty hands wrapped around my neck not too long ago. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I smashed his horse face in, knocked some teeth out. He won't be chewing bubblegum anytime soon. Listen, Crane had the mirror, Mary had Crane, and she comes around here, right? If you're covering for her, I'm gonna have a problem with you. So you better think real hard about what you say next. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on, I, I just gotta go check on that. N don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. That that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before, at the Tweedles. Such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. Good fucking reason, I'd say. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Things I do. Please, please, Bigby, please don't. Bigby, what happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. I'm not built like the Jersey Devil. Whatever you did to him, I can't take that. 
I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got down the hook in the deep freeze. They? Do you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day. Playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there would be the day. Big B. Wolf would... Shh. Is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business, it's all I've ever had. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. You come in here making trouble for me? But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. Y you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's... it's all the fucking same! What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You wanna talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked, by breaking their bones, and... Do I really need to explain this? Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Too 
bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like Crane's it's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. No time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. piece of the shard it's the shard finally hey hold on well I'm real happy you found what you're looking for Bigby but what about me huh what the hell am I supposed to do now I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. You're going to protect me. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean... It's fine. I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn, but he told me that the Crooked Man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door, once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Why the hell did you burn Crane's stuff, huh? Don't bullshit me. Buffkin was there. I know it was you. Given Ichabod's obsession with Miss White, I thought it best to make sure that nothing uh, untoward saw the light of day. Oh, fuck off. I know you were burning evidence. Then tell me, what evidence did I burn? I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. I do so enjoy our talks. I'll wait with bated breath. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? 
What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it at the butcher shop, the cut above. It was in Crane's cone. There was a lot of weird magic going on there. That has something to do with it. Other than that, the last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Well, how would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worse kept secret in Fable Town. Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. Can you say the same? Fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right, burdening the weakest of us like this. Look. I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, that's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, Sherry. I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get it sorted and I'll be glamoured to the nines, I will. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. If there's one thing I've figured out, that the Crooked Man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. 
Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. He's probably still waking up a little. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up to. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction, and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. <sighs> Mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. The door, it moves. what I tell you? Wait a minute, I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait! When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him, so I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so... If you'll come this way... Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. Tim, how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not... he's not as bad as you think. 
he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty, too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Mate, you got a job to I do. I ain't scared of you. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You see, everyone in Fabletown has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. Thank you. 